guys, how's it going? My name is Jeff from AutoHunter.com and today we're going to be looking at this 1958 Lincoln Continental Mark III convertible. But before I can open it up and show you all the goodies, first, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's Auto Hunter Cinema video is brought to you by Land Air Sea. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with Land Air Sea, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirSea.com to order your Land Air Sea GPS unit for your classic vehicle. So today I'm standing in front of a 1958 Lincoln Continental Mark III convertible. And I just want to start out by saying this vehicle is on stilts, so if it looks a little tall, that's why. But this is a very cool vehicle. It was actually ordered by a king from Belgium. And because of that, this car is featured in special order code 01 presidential black over a tan interior and it looks absolutely fantastic the lincoln mark III continental is a very interesting vehicle for several reasons one it really set off the best-selling nature for the continental by this time ford had sort of taken it over and it is the first year of what we know as a lincoln continental before uh continental was actually its own brand creating their own vehicles as its own sort of sub company of ford but now it was absorbed into Lincoln and cannibalized by Ford, where we now have the Lincoln Continental as it sits in front of us. So with that being said, because it was now a Lincoln product, Ford had a lot of say in this vehicle. And one of the main goals for production of the 1958 uh, Lincoln we have here is the fact that they wanted to get the cost down so much so that they had a goal of $6,000 for the selling price of this vehicle, which was considerably more than a lot of other vehicles at the time, but this is a luxury vehicle after all. And because of that, this car sold 40 percent better than what the Mark II Continental had sold for, which is a pretty important detail for this car because this car was intended to go up against things um, like Cadillacs and some of the Imperials and stuff of the time as far as the competitive luxury vehicle market goes. But this is a very cool car indeed. Power underneath this hood, as we'll show you here in some of the unique styling options like these headlights. Uh, power comes from a 430 cubic inch V8 that's rated at around 350, 375 horsepower, which is pretty cool. We've got some nice white wall side tires and our Continental Mark III wiring you see here. So we'll go ahead, lift the hood up here. And there's a look at our 430 cubic inch V8, which is absolutely massive, but you definitely need it to help move around all of that weight and things like that. And it produces enough horsepower to make sure we can go ahead and get it going. So we'll go ahead and set this back down and we'll keep moving towards the convertible section of the car here. So now we have ourselves our nice tan interior, which features a lot of the luxury items. You can see some of the various quilting and things like that. And one of the most important details is the fact that what could normally cover this is the power convertible top. So what sits right here is actually a power top. So yes, back in 1958, we had things like power convertible tops, which could actually fold up and over onto the car just with the push of a button, which is pretty nice in that instance, along with all of your other normal luxury features and things like that added on to the vehicle. Sort of come around to the back here and check this out. We have more awesome chrome with the 1950s uh, Lincoln Continental, which looks absolutely fantastic. And one of the things I wanted to point out at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that this was a Lincoln Mark III. As it turns out, the Mark was actually referring to the year of production. So originally, unlike later, when we would see Mark V referring to a specific generation, the Mark II would have been 1957. And this being a Mark III was 1958, and then Mark IV, 59, uh, Mark V, 1960. And so that's how the Mark sort of worked. So the, the Mark actually told you what year, um, which is a pretty interesting fact. But one of the cool parts is because this has the power convertible top, you can see it's got just such a long hood deck here to try and make up for all of that convertible space. And of course, we have our typical luxury mounted bits here, but it's pretty cool to be the fact that this car was actually purchased by the Belgian King and then ended up making its way um, back to the US and now it's for sale here, which is pretty cool. So with that, if you're interested in purchasing a collector vehicle for yourself, be sure to check out autohunter.com, which is our online auction with vehicles going live every single weekday. And if you can go ahead and throw a like on this video, we'd really appreciate it and get subscribed as we release videos like this regularly. And with that, thanks so much for watching.